Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome back, friends. Welcome back to another video lecture by Kami Microbiologist. I hope all of you are well and fine. Today, in this video lecture, we are going to see another lecture that is related to the cardiac markers. And in this video, we are going to see CPK blood test. If you guys remember, we talked different cardiac markers like we talked LDH, we talked SGOT, okay, and we talked CKMB. If you miss this video lecture, you can go back to my channel and watch this video lecture, okay. Now today in this video we are going to see the CPK blood test that is also the cardiac marker. So my name is Muhammad Kamil Khan and you guys watching my channel Kami Microbiologist. Let's start the video. First of all, what we are going to explain in this video, in this video we are going to see introduction to CPK, diagnostic purpose of CPK blood test, we are going to see requirement test procedure, normal range, main causes of high and low CPK. First of all, let's see the introduction. CPK full form is creatine phosphokinase. We also call it creatine kinase. What is this? It is actually the enzyme that can play an important role in the energy production, especially in the muscle and in the brain. This enzyme is actually catalyzes and convert the creatinine and uses ATP and make what it can make phosphocreatine and ADP which is actually the energy source. Then we have the diagnostic purpose of this test. This test is specially used to diagnose the heart attack. It is used to assist muscle injury and muscle disease. This test is also used to check the level of CPK in the blood. This test is also monitor the treatment efficacy which are providing for the uh, for the control of CPK level. Then we have the isoenzyme of the CPK. So there are uh, three isoenzyme of the CPK. Isoenzyme means the enzyme that have the same function but structure are different. So when we have CPK1, we also call it CPK BB. It is found into the brain and lungs. Second, we have CPK2, we, called, we also call it CPK MB, it is found into the heart muscle. Third, we have CPK3, it is also called CPK MM, it is found into the skeletal muscle. Next, we have the main causes of high CPK1. So, when the CPK1 level get high into the blood, so what it will cause? It will cause brain injuries and cancer. It can cause pulmonary infarction. Pulmonary infarction means the uh, obstruction or the blockage into the pulmonary area, or we can say into the lungs or trachea, okay, etc. Scissor means the electrical shocks into the brain or electrical shock or activity in in the brain. So due to uh, or we can also say that high CPK1 is caused by uh, is caused by these main condition. Next, we have the main causes of uh, CPK2. So, the high level of the high CPK2 may be caused by the myocarditis due to viral infection. Myocarditis means the uh, inflammation into the cardiac muscles. Next, we have open heart surgery. So, when open heart surgery done, so after that CPK2 level may also get high. Next, we have heart injury due to the accident it may also cause the high CPK2. Third, we have heart attack. So, due to this condition, the CPK2 level will get high into the blood. Third, we have high CPK3 main causes. So, CPK3 is caused by uh, electromicrography. What is actually electromicrography? It is actually the test through which the electrical activity of the muscle and brain or sorry electrical activity of the muscle and nerves that control it can be measured okay so when we perform this test so due to this way the cpk3 level get high second we have muscle dystrophy muscle dystrophy means uh, that uh, when the uh, we can we can also say that it is the muscle disease uh, or uh, due to which the muscle will get uh, weak it is actually also the genetic disease in which the muscle will get weak and it will waste away over the time okay next we have crush injuries so crush injury means the pressure or the force to any part of the body that will cause injured to the body we call that crush injury 
Next we have rhabdomyolysis or and myocarditis. Rhabdomyolysis is actually the damages of the skeletal muscle that can be break down rapidly due to the high intensity exercise. Myocarditis means the inflammation into the cardiac muscles. Next we have extensive exercise. So whenever we are doing uh, extensive exercise means uh, uh, every time if we are doing exercise so it may also increase the CPK3 level. Okay. Uh, next we have recent surgery if the patient have done recent surgery so it may also cause high CPK level. So this is the CPK3 level that how it will get high. Now let's see the requirements. So the first requirement whenever we are whenever we are doing this test so we need uh, blood into the heparin tube which we call that uh, gel uh, green top or sodium heparin tube. We need the blood into the gel tube red top. We need uh, we need a uh, yellow tip, blue tip, incubator, and centrifuge machine. We need advanced machine. We need microlab 300 machine, and we need the cater. Let's see the test procedure. So it's very simple. First of all, you need the blood into the gel tube, red top or green top. Then you will centrifuge the blood to separate the serum or plasma. Then what will you do? You have to run it onto the advanced machine like Selectra. If let's suppose you do not have the advanced machine like Selectra, so you can also run it uh, onto the semi-automated machine like Microlab machine. So it's very simple. You need a kit uh, that will contain R1 and R2. So R1 you should uh, be uh, you should need 800 and R2 you should need uh, 200 microliter. You will mix it and then you will add 50 microliter serum. Then you will mix and incubate it for 5 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius. After incubation, then you will read the test uh, onto the Microlab 300 machine and you will get the result. This is how the procedure. So we have another uh, procedure of this test which we call that qualitative. This will just give you a quick result uh, in which you will put the buffer uh, first you will put the serum and then you will put the buffer after few seconds uh, after few minutes you will get the result. If you get two bands it means that CPK is positive. If you get only one band that is the test uh, so it means and there is no bands onto the control it means that CPK is negative. So this test will just tell you either the CPK test is positive or negative but the uh, this is called qu qualitative test. Uh, uh, but whenever you are using Keto, so it will show you the quantity. Okay, so I will show into the next slide that uh, how many uh, normal range of this. So the normal range of this uh, uh, test is 55 to 170 international unit per liter in male, 30 to 135 international unit uh, uh, international unit per liter in female. Then we have uh, the main causes of low CPK, so it is caused by muscle atrophy. Muscle atrophy means loss of the skeletal when the muscle are, uh, you know, uh, losses from the skeletal area. So what will happen? It will lose their movement, uh, like we can say mobility. This is called as uh, this is called as mu muscle atrophy. Next we have hypothyroidism means low level of the hormone from the thyroid gland. Next we have severe malnutrition means if there is a uh, we can say nutritional deficiency we call it severe malnutrition. So due to this way the CPK level will get low into the body. So this is all about the CPK blood test. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video make sure to hit the like button, share this video and subscribe the channel to get more interesting videos like that. If you have question, you can write your question into the comment. I will try my best to give you answer as soon as possible. So take care. Allah Hafiz. Bye.